The F-15's days are numbered at Lambert's Air National Guard base. But the decision to move is not slowing down pilots with the 131st Fighter Wing. News Force Donna Savarese takes us flying in an F-15 to show us the new high-tech weapon in a fighter pilot's arsenal. Ready. The F-15 Eagle. It's hit and it's a major hit. Since the early 1970s when it was first introduced, an F-15 Eagle has never been lost in combat. Aerial combat victories 104, losses zero. But it seems even perfection can be improved upon. Behold the future of fighter pilot technology that local pilots are raving about. It's an, an exponential leap in situational awareness. Situational awareness, a necessity when you're in the cockpit at speeds sometimes topping a thousand miles an hour. It used to be the display at the front of the cockpit was the only place a pilot could track his airspeed, weapons data, and his enemy. Pilots had to turn their heads back and forth from the horizon to the display. But not anymore. Not since the advent of these $115,000 helmets that now contain all of that data in pilots' visors. Hey, we'll look over. This is video shot by the National Guard of what a pilot sees. Yep. Look closely as the circle seeks out the enemy target. Had this been combat, the pilot would have then launched the missile, most likely resulting in a direct hit. I was one of the first probably three or four people in the Air Force to operationally test it. Lieutenant Colonel Chris Young is proud to now say the 131st Fighter Wing is the first guard base in the country to utilize the joint helmet system as it's known. So proud, pilots offered to show me firsthand exactly how it works. In the moments before the training mission, my heart is racing. Lieutenant Colonel Brian Camp, Spider-Man as he's known, will be our flight lead. Ryan DeLong, my pilot. The engines get louder. It is time to depart. It is standard operating procedure to raise your hands during final inspection to avoid injury of maintenance personnel. The training mission will take place at the Red Hills Military Operations Area over Illinois. Donna, you want to watch the, uh, the airplanes in front of us? Good one in flight. Clear for takeoff, switch to departure. There we go, Donna. Okay. We lift off. Ryan pulls the plane 60 degrees up. We'll be at 15,000 feet in less than 45 seconds. All right, how was that? Fine. All right. <laughs> Off to a good start. I then grab a digital camera I had taken with me. While Spider-Man and the third pilot, Steve Stilwell, fly in close formation, I snap these photos. But the real adventure lies ahead. All right, we're here. All right. We've arrived at Red Hills. All right, stand by for our first G-turn, Donna. Huh? This is what a dogfight with an F-15 Eagle looks like from the air. All right, how'd that feel? It was, uh, I mean, I stayed away. But After four Gs, or four times the force of gravity, thanks to the breathing techniques I had been taught on how to avoid fainting, I still feel good. But the dogfight's about to get more intense. Okay, this one will be a little harder. Breathing hard, targets are locked with the joint helmet, as you can see here. All right, how'd we do? I'm not feeling that great. <laughs> but you're still with me, good. Yeah, I feel nauseous. Okay, we're on our way back now. After a closed pattern approach, Ryan lands us safely. Exhausted and exhilarated as my feet hit the ground, I thank Spider-Man, but a handshake just doesn't seem like enough. Three, six, five, huh? You guys are awesome. Nice, very nice. Thank you. Of course, thank you. For me, a dream fulfilled but just another day in the life of a fighter pilot. Friday on News 4 at 6 o'clock, what the future holds for the 131st Fighter Wing after a recent announcement by the BRAC Commission. The answer might surprise you. I also take you inside the flight training process. To check out an online photo gallery of my flight, log on to KMOV.com. I'm Donna Savarese. News for St. Louis. Yeah, now she we did need to well. get. Yeah, we need to get her a handle. You know, they all have different handles. I have to think of one. Maybe just someone out there. I bet the guys could think of one. Think